Good morning. I hope you all are doing well. I don't know if it's morning for you, but it is currently Thursday, March 7th. My video just premiered. I showed a little clip of that. It was a fun time. I love premiering videos. And I love watching other people's premieres. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. I just did a couple of admin things. So yeah, I have a lot of things I still need to get done. I have one market next week on Friday. So I'm finishing up the prep for that, which all of the bug collection is gonna be available to whoever is local. And it's really cool. It's gonna be at a coffee shop. And I don't know, I'm really excited to see what that market market looks like because I've never done a market at a coffee shop so I'm just trying to figure out the vibes and it's basically like a little latte throwdown so they're doing like a whole competition and things like that for coffee so all that's happening inside and they're gonna have local vendors outside in the parking lot I feel like it's gonna be really cool either way there's gonna be coffee and good vibes so it really doesn't matter how the market goes as long as there's fun and a good community which I think that's exactly what it's gonna be so Either way, I'm really excited to see what that market is like. Then I have about two full weeks to prep for the shop update for patrons. So on the 27th, patrons have early access at 10 a.m. They have 24 hour early access. It's not like a one hour early access or anything like that. They have a full 24 hour access. So if you would like early access to this collection, it'll be dropping on my website on the secret patron shop on the 27th at 10 a.m. So set your alarms. You don't want to miss join over on patreon you can join for free which you still have access to the patreon shop or you can join and find a tier that best fits you and all of the tiers have different discount codes so if you want a discount code between 5 and 20 percent off i would consider joining a tier that best fits you but other than that on the 28th we are celebrating four years of me taking my art seriously this little mindful family has been alive so yeah on the 28th we'll be launching the full drop and the full collection on my website and then on the 30th I will be bringing whatever remainder I'll probably print some more things to bring to my market on the 30th but I'm just gonna kind of bring the leftovers and for other local people that want to just shop the drop and that's that so we have a kind of a busy month it's more prep and admin than anything because most of my designs are done the last two videos you've seen me do a lot of block printing. So I have all of my stamps that I want for this collection completed. Now I just have to finish. I'm gonna be packing up the prints that I printed yesterday in last week's video. <laughs> So I'm gonna pack those up and I wanna do a couple different color variations. So I've only done like black and white ink so far, but I got green ink, okay? I'm not really sure how I feel about the color green specifically. I wish it was like a sage. It's kind of like a bright green, but they didn't have anything else but that green. I don't know if I can mix paint. If I can, I might try that and try and mix like a sage. But either way, I'm still gonna do this green. I'm gonna mess around with it, kind of see how I like it. And I might use it for the tote bags because I'm gonna be printing a couple different stamp variations on some tote bags and some wall pennant flags. So we have a busy, busy, busy day today. I'm trying to get majority of that done today so that next week can kind of just be like anything that's last minute and more like market prep stuff, but have all the items done so I can focus more on like admin. So we'll see what we get to, but I have a couple other prints still on their way that I had to outsource because they have like a textured background and I'll show you guys those when they come in. They should be in by like next Wednesday or something. So kind of get close to my first market, but this collection is massive. I did not realize how many ideas I was putting out. And so I also have the keychains that I showed in, I think that one's two videos ago, but I'll kind of recap everything once I have all my items done. But I also have some keychains that I sat in resin. They have like gold, really cool, um, whatever it's called, a little hook for the keychain. It's really cool gold and then it's resin with ferns inside. So I'm obsessed with all of my ideas. Like, I don't think I have favorite per se. Maybe the butterfly, this, this butterfly right here, actually, that one. I think that is hands down my favorite stamp I've ever carved, but not picking favorites. 
I need to stop blabbing so that I can get moving because there's so much to do. So grab yourself a coffee and get ready for this video because I have a feeling it's going to be a chunky one. There is lots of things to do and this isn't going to be just this weekend. I'm probably going to take this video all the way up until the market, then I'm gonna film the market in a separate video. Not sure though, not sure, don't hold me to it. But that's my thoughts as of right now. So anyways, let's wrap it up, L let's go. Just checking in i it is sunday march 10th i am i just finished printing some stamps on some tote bags i did green first with the butterfly and moth i'll show you those in a second actually i'll just get it right now but i did these last night so it's kind of like a late night screen printing session or hand screen printing session i did six of those in green and then i'm gonna do the same exact design with black ink. I'm doing that today. I need to iron those tote bags so that the ink settles in the fabric. Then, like I said, I'm gonna be doing the same exact design with another six tote bags with black ink. And then I'll be doing eight of these little wall flags, banners, things. And I'll be doing butterfly and moth. And then I'll just be doing the big butterfly. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I do it. I just finished taking some product photos of the rest of these prints, the mantis and the green version of some of these prints. And I thought I was done with my carving until I got a mantis requested a couple times. So I was like, okay, it's a sign. I should just do a mantis. So I did a mantis. Now I'm officially done with all of my stamps. I'm about to update my website right now, just adding the coming soon spring bug collection so i'm gonna update my website i'm gonna print the totes and the banners then i'll probably just do some admin for right now because i can't pack these up because i don't have any of the chipboard backing to pack them that's coming in on tuesday so these prints are just like hanging out over here but i have some pricing things i need to do and then i have to make another wellness shot flavor which i'll show you guys that whole thing later but i wanted to check in and kind of talk through the things that i have left so it's sunday and i have almost everything done which my goal was to finish all at least having all of the merch and items done so that next week can be a full admin day so i have my artist way group discussion later on tonight at seven so for now i'm just going to start working on pricing 
finishing up the printing and working on my updating my website. That's what we're going to be doing. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. hello hello i hope you all are doing well so far in the video i'm popping in to do a little voiceover i love chatty videos so i decided to make a little bit of a chatty video along with lots of time lapses i have been putting in the work it's crazy because i prepped for this market well i started prepping literally a month ago and i'm still finding myself running up on where i'm running out of time and i'm just kind of in a all-out sprint i couldn't be more incredibly grateful for this job and this opportunity to be a full-time artist even when i am racing around like a crazy person there's something so rewarding about it and yeah i'm just so incredibly grateful so i'm not complaining but i'm definitely busting my butt and putting in the work which is again very rewarding a little off topic i wanted to talk about something that i heard in a podcast that i was listening to the other day and it was these tattoo artists and they were basically talking about you know competition and all these different types of things and one of them said a quote that i think will probably stick with me forever and the quote is that the people on the bottom are competing and the people on the top are collaborating now something i've talked about in my previous videos i think a little while ago and maybe even more recently but i've been wanting to dabble in the creative community a little bit more get myself out there make 
make some more creative friends, etc. My experience, especially in the past, has been where no one wants to share anything. There's a lot of gatekeeping. There is a lot of competing. It's almost like people feel like there's not space for them. I don't really know how to explain it, but I've definitely felt it before, so I'm not trying to sit here all high and mighty. But I have learned very quickly that it's just not for me at all. So that quote really stuck out to me because it made me realize the people who are really making it are the people that know how to celebrate one another. They know how to share in their creative endeavors. They know how to collaborate. And of course, there is a balance with sharing not necessarily everything, but I feel like there's such value in sharing the creative spaces that we hold for ourselves with other creatives as well. One of the people that I think does this amazingly is Lily Maitzik. I think I probably pronounced her last name wrong. But she's a ceramicist in London, and I've been watching a lot of her videos. It's at May Ceramics, and I'll put it on the screen too so you can see. She shares all of her secrets, all of the things that work for her, and it is so encouraging to see someone that is so open about their creative process. It's like a breath of fresh air. And I'm sure you all have seen how Lee, Jamie Green, Cheyenne Barton, all these people have started hanging out and collaborating together. And I'm just absolutely loving seeing it. And I definitely want more of that. So that was just something on my heart that I wanted to share and encourage all of us to be a little bit more open to sharing what's working for us and celebrating each other. I think it's so so big to celebrate each other in our personal victories anywho i'm gonna do some block printing so enjoy the next clip finished everything I have to do today besides packing up the 5x7 prints but I can't do that until Amazon delivers my backing that is coming today and I have to put sticker pricing on everything so my last market I used my label maker which took up a lot of my label maker little things and people didn't really even see the prices anyways because it was kind of hard to see on the prints but I wanted it to be like aesthetic so this time I just got bulk green stickers that I can just put on the prints so I always have like a little menu of how of the pricing of everything but I notice people still sometimes like don't see that so on every single print I'm just gonna put a little sticker with its price so that it's easy to just see once you pick it up look at it etc i just did my patreon print design for the mail rewards tier and ordered those it's like a here i'll show you on my ipad because obviously it's not in yet because i just ordered it it's gonna be these five by seven little like floral prints i don't know if you can see like the texture on it i don't think it's gonna focus but it looks like pencil and it's basically just like a bunch of little 
ferns and florals and botanicals for the month of March because it is spring and it's officially daylight savings is back to longer days and I'm so excited. I'm ready for the sun to be out more, although I am prepared for Florida to rain like a crazy person during spring. But yeah, so besides packing those prints up, I have to take a couple more product photos and I have to add the stickers. But other than that, I think that's really it. And then I have some prints coming in tomorrow that I'll just have to put backing and put them in cellophane baggies and put those together. But literally, other than that, I'm just gonna be editing this video and that's the prep for Friday's market. I'm gonna be looking at my setup just to see if I need anything. So I'm gonna probably do like a little practice setup since I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. So after all of this is finished, then setup's the last thing and smooth sailing from there. And then once I know everything on Friday, like what's been purchased and what people have bought, I'll probably go ahead and reorder immediately on Friday night whatever I sold out of or sold and I'll probably just reorder some new things like for tote bags for example or the hanging pennants so yeah product photos and everything else I already repeated myself saying is all I have left besides just the setup itself but I've been taking it a little easy I'm gonna get into my sketchbook because I've been doing so much like actual work work that I haven't had any time to just create things for myself so I'm going to draw on my sketchbook make some art have a little bit of fun in there that'll be that I'm really excited for this market like I said it's gonna be at a coffee shop so I and it's right next to like a huge the big university that I'm I'm by and I think it's going to be a lot of people that are my age. So I think the scene and the community and the environment is going to be a really, really cool one to be a part of. I think I'm going to edit for a little bit too. I think I'm going to edit. I'm going to get my sketchbook. That's going to be the plans until my Amazon, like the backing arrives for the prints. But yeah, I also get a new tattoo on Thursday, which I'm really excited for. I'll obviously be sharing that in this vlog, but I'm going to get, it's going to be lemon a lemon branch on the back of my arm here and the artist i found her she actually gets tattooed by my original my normal tattoo artist and she has her own private studio and you can like watch netflix on her tv it's a whole vibe so i'm really excited for that as well but anywho just wanted to check in sending you all love
Hello. I am very sorry if it sounds like my laptop is taking flight. I am currently editing this video and it is really running out right now. My laptop is working extra, extra hard on this edit, but I definitely underestimated the amount of things I needed to do before this Friday's market. So there's been a lot of time lapses and it's just been a chatty video, which I personally love videos like that. It makes me feel like I'm listening to like a podcast, but I also have like a visual to go with it and it's just a good time over here. But one of the things I like to do with my pieces is add meanings to them. So kind of an explanation or my heart behind it or kind of what it stands for, what it means. So I printed out the bug collection description and other prints that I have, just different types of descriptions in my heart behind my pieces to help others better connect with me as an artist and hopefully relate and help them feel a little bit more seen, a little bit more heard, things like that. It's kind of funny though, because this took up the majority of the day. I had to write out the descriptions, then I had to print them, then I had to cut them, and I really like to make them look super cute by adding these little round edges to them. I just feel like it adds like a little cute touch to it. So I rounded off all those. I printed and cut and did 90 pa pieces of paper like little descriptions and it wasn't enough. I actually ended up having to print some later on in the night, which is literally tonight. I'm editing this right now as I'm speaking. But so I had to do another like 60 of what you don't see right here. So I cannot believe I have that many pieces of art that have been printed and they're ready to go for the market. So it was just a really long day of like a bunch of tedious different things and it is 9.55 as we speak, as I'm recording this voiceover right now, and I still have to do a mock booth setup. So I'm gonna get my tables out here in a little bit and do a little bit of a mock setup. I don't have too much time because tomorrow I'm gonna be going for my tattoo appointment. Then I'm spending time with my brother and sister-in-law with my niece, and we're gonna watch a TV show together. And then it's already gonna be Friday. So I'm kind of running out of time. The good thing is that the market is at nighttime, so I at least have Friday all day. But I also got these prints as I was sitting there cutting all those things. The mail came and I'm absolutely obsessed with these like butterfly and moth flash sheets. I did one with black and white and then I did another one with traditional color, except I changed the color a little bit to make it more of like a green, yellow, and lavender rather than the traditional red. But since there are so many voiceovers, I figured I would be quiet for this next portion. I'm going to be using my Illumino Heart Ink pen to practice some tattoo designs. So I hope you enjoy the footage and I love you all so much.
been a very long couple of days. The market was such a blast. I pretty much was go, go, go for like 72 hours straight. I did end up getting my tattoo on Thursday, so I was gone the entire day that day, which left all of the last minute prep to the day of the market and I made it there right on time, finished up everything on Friday, right before I had to walk out the door. But it was such a fun market, it was super fast paced, so I didn't get too much footage of it, but I really liked it because it was an evening market and I met some of the coolest, sweetest people. I'm so thankful for everyone who came out. It was an absolute blast and I'm just thankful that there's such a welcoming community to allow me to express myself and share my art with the world. That brings us to today. It is Saturday and I have been working all morning to organize everything. As you saw the footage just a little bit ago, I organized all of my inventory. I counted everything just to make sure that I have the right count for everything that was sold. I'm going to be ordering a couple more things just to restock before the for your anniversary launch and then before the next market on the 30th. So lots of things happening. And I'll also insert a little picture of my tattoo over here. I have second skin on it and it's healing right now, so I'll give you like a better personal angle once it heals up a little bit more, but yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it. My artist killed it she did exactly what i wanted and she's just an amazing artist an amazing human all around this is her instagram handle if you want to give her a follow if you're in the area book with her her books are open currently i went ahead and rebooked with her for august we're gonna finish up my elbow and forearm which is going to be quite the appointment because that just hitting part of my elbow was no fun at all but worth it, it's a beautiful masterpiece. I'm absolutely in love with it. Speaking of tattoos, I did want to give a little shout out to Mad Rabbit. So I just got a couple of their items. They're seriously amazing. They are the number one leading in sustainable tattoo care for new ink, for old ink, and just for skin in general. Everything is made of clean ingredients and you never have to worry about what you're putting in your skin. Everything is sustainable and ethically sourced. So they're an amazing company. I purchased all of this with my own money. This is not sponsored. However, I do have a code if you would like to use it. It's 20% off your entire order. So I got their Refresh Exfoliating Cleansing Soap. And this is really gonna be helpful when I take my second skin off and I start washing my tattoo. I went ahead and stocked up on their like Fresh Ink Care. And then I have their Repairing Soothing Gel with clean and natural ingredients. And then once my tattoo heals, I also got their Defend SPF 30. So they have amazing skincare, like I said, you never have to worry what you're putting on your skin. It's all to help preserve all of your tattoos and keep them looking fresh, keep them looking clean, keep them looking brand new. So yeah, if you would like 20% off your order, use code LexiDahlia for 20% off your order. Again, I did purchase this with my own money and this is not sponsored. I just genuinely love their stuff. So head on over to their website. I'll have the link in the description if you would like to stock up on some tattoo care. Back to wrapping up this super long fun creative video i know it's at the very beginning of this video but i just wanted to kind of reiterate myself and remind you that the for your anniversary drop which is everything you're seeing all of the market stuff was early access for the locals but if you're seeing anything that you like it will be available on march 28th at 10 a.m on my website head over to my instagram if you want a little countdown and a reminder of that just so you don't miss out however if you are looking for early access and you want to get first dibs on some of these items i highly encourage you to follow over on patreon you can join for free or you can find a tier that best fits you and get monthly benefits like podcast episodes mailed rewards like prints and stickers there's so many things over there so find a tier that best fits you or follow along for free if you follow along for free you, you still get early access to the shop drop on the 27th so patrons get 24 hour early access 
to this entire drop on March 27th at 10 a.m. So set your alarms, don't miss out, go follow on Patreon or set an alarm over on Instagram for the 28th. If you do join on Patreon though, we are nine beautiful humans away from me launching something super cool. So once I hit 50 patrons, I want to release a little secret item that I've been low-key working on, but it'll be only available to patrons. It'll be an exclusive item for patrons only. And I will give you a hint, it's not a sticker, it's not a print, it's nothing like that, but it's a secret. But I think it's gonna be really cool and it's gonna be exclusive to patrons only. So if you are interested in that, join over on Patreon and be a part of joining the 50. Enough Patreon plug, enough tattoo discussions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I think markets are so fun to prep for and they're so fun to film if you have any questions at all please drop them below i'll be sure to answer them i'm trying to think of anything else i feel like every time i'm editing i always think of something else i wanted to say and didn't say but i really can't think of anything else i guess the last thing is if you made it this far please comment a little fern emoji thank you so much for watching the video in its entirety it was so fun hanging out with you i hope you had a good time if there's anything you take away from this i hope it is that you are so valued your life has such a purpose i hope this inspired you to go out and create and do more of what you love with that being said you're the bee's knees and i'm also delirious i'm starting to get a little cuckoo for coca puffs i'm gonna hop off here before i say anything too wild you know what i'm saying but anywho like the video if you haven't subscribe if you want to join this family and i will see you in the next one